The most basic feature that separates a graphing calculator from other calculators is that you can enter in functions quickly and evaluate them quickly by graphing, right? Hence the name graphing calculator. Here the button y equals is an easy way to enter in your function. By clicking that you'll see a list of blank functions, right? And you can define them by entering in certain variables. Now these are all um, defined in terms of x, right? y is going to equal to something x, 2x plus 5 or whatever. Um, but we can talk about ways of getting around that and we can talk about all types of other options here, just the basic kind of entering a function and graphing it. So to enter in a function, let's say 3x, if y1 or y is equal to the 3x, I type in 3, then this button right here is the is the button for the variable x and I don't need to even press enter it's now right this is now entered into the graphing calculator if I want to see what that function looks like I can just hit the graph button over here right and the calculator will automatically graph the function so again to enter in a function it's as simple as clicking this button right here the y equals button and you can enter as many functions as you want well I'm sure there is a limit but as many functions as you will ever need to um, in a given problem and here let's say 4x right enter that in I can graph it and now I can zoom in or out and see what these graphs two the graphs of these two functions meet uh, or intersect I can look at all types of things so that's the basic premise of the graphing calculator thanks